major development in the quest for the coronavirus vaccine. As Pfizer announces their COVID-19 vaccine more than 90% effective, it's stunning news. But New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says there's a downside. The bad news is uh, that it's about two months before Joe Biden takes over. And that means this administration is going to be implementing a vaccine plan. The vaccine plan is very important, and it's probably the most ambitious undertaking, undertaking since uh, COVID began. The Trump administration is rolling out the vaccination plan, and I believe it's flawed. Uh, here now, Fox News medical contributor, author of this great book, COVID, The Politics of Fear and the Power of Science, Dr. Mark Siegel. Uh, Dr. Siegel, first off, Andrew Cuomo doesn't like the military implementing a plan that's ready to go and it could be monitored in the smallest hospital in the biggest city. What's not good about this plan that was featured on 60 Minutes 48 hours ago? Brian, you just took the words out of my mouth. We've never had it before where the DOD, the Department of Defense, which knows the word deployment, don't they? Partners with the CDC and McKesson, a company that has already sent vaccines around the country multiple times, the plan is in place and has never been done this way before. They're already geared up to already send out 50 to 100 million doses. And, you know, Governor Cuomo is talking about underserved areas, but the plan includes temporary clinics being built in underserved areas on Indian reservations in poor neighborhoods in order to get the vaccine to people who need it the most. Healthcare workers will get it. The elderly will get it. The poor minorities will get it. All he's doing is shaking confidence in a vaccine that we have very exciting news about. And our big mess, our big problem is going to be vaccine compliance. How disturbing is that for him to be shaking the f confidence in this vaccine at exactly the wrong time? And we think they could be ready. They want to get the shot going, their words, at the end of this month, but they need two shots. I understand it. Then all of a sudden, later in the day, I read about Moderna said, excuse me, I got one, too. What should we know about that? Well, that's a very similar technology, and that's been under the auspices of the NIH. They're looking very cl closely at the Moderna vaccine. Both of these vaccines use genetic material to signal your cells, Brian, to make the spike protein from the virus. And guess what? We're now seeing a robust immune response. We saw over 90% of people who got sick with COVID were in the placebo group. So the vaccine is protective. This has never, ever been done before at this rate of speed. This is a historical day for science. And again, the governor should be ashamed of himself to be attacking the vaccine while we're excited about getting it out there. And by the way, just uh, I'm going to move over to Biden's plan. But Eli Lilly to start shipping the coronavirus antibody drug immediately after getting emergency FDA approval in the second. COVID-19 breakthrough in 24 hours. Amazing, just a week from the election. Okay, I know it's a coincidence. Let's talk about what the president-elect uh, president Biden said yesterday. He put out a plan, and here's the skeleton of it. We're going to restore the White House National Security Council Directorate for Health and Security, re-engaging with the WHO, relaunching a pathogen tracking system, calling all governors to enact mass mandates, and calling authorities to reinforce orders. What's new about this? Well, Brian, we already have a mask mandate in over 30 states, and Tennessee studied a mask mandate recently and found that when it's done in conjunction, and this is the key part, with distancing and no crowds, it actually decreases hospitalizations. We know that a mask helps, but a mask is not the big issue. The big issue is distancing and not being in crowds. So I was disturbed to see the celebratory crowds when when President-elect Biden, you know, was, was out there after the election, there was celebratory crowds huddling together. How much virus was spread then? If they want to spend, send a message of compliance, the message should be don't gather to celebrate. Celebrate the vaccine, by the way. Don't celebrate victories. Yeah. And more regulations and more mandates, Brian, are going to lead to noncompliance. Not right. more compliance. And, Doctor, right before I came on, I checked your book to see if there was any exemption. If Notre Dame beat Clemson, can you celebrate? And you did not have an exemption. So I'm sorry, Notre Dame. Get tested now. I understand it was a big win, but you can't run on the field without masks. Dr. Siegel, congratulations testing on the book. Testing is key. Yes. Testing and, is key, Brian. That's the thing. Okay. And, and they want no you. No exemption to, for Notre Dame. Right. Absolutely. And they got. They said, don't leave campus without being tested. Uh, COVID nineteen, right over your right shoulder. It's a great book. It answers all the questions. Thanks, Dr. Siegel. Thank you, Brian.